Alright guys, top of the morning, top of the morning, Kish, Kish Mawal. It's your boy Kish Mawal. Welcome back to this beautiful, beautiful city of ours that is Stockholm, Sweden. And uh, man, welcome to all the new subscribers, all the old subscribers, everybody who's part of Kish Mawal and this beautiful, beautiful journey. And uh, I'm coming to you from the heart of Stockholm in Sweden. And uh, today I'm just going to do something very, very different. Because you know, people actually here in Sweden are very different and I just want to do a small you know social experiment just to see how people actually react uh, to strangers if people are open to meeting strangers talking to strangers yeah just you know having good vibes with strangers it's really hard you know because people in this country because it's a cold country people also tend to be a bit cold themselves but it's time to make them uncomfortable what do you guys think yeah <laughs> so we are going to be going to talk to random strangers and just asking them random stuff it's a saturday night today so it's a lot of people like uh, you can see maybe i can show you on the other side a lot of people who are actually you know heading home or maybe getting ready for a night out so they want to go and party maybe a lot of tourists i don't know so we're gonna go and try and see how the people in stockholm actually react to random strangers with cameras like me it's very very unusual and they'll think you're mad and you're crazy but that's the beauty of uh, this type of content content creation and this is also the beauty of having a camera in front of you because you have the power <laughs> yeah it's probably gonna be a lot a lot of people who are uncomfortable with it but you know we gotta do what you gotta do I just want to see how people actually in this cold country react to meeting strangers. Yeah, it's probably not an easy thing also, you know. But in other countries, people are so much, you know, looking forward to cameras. They're the ones who are actually always just coming and asking you, Hey, what's up? What are you doing? Blah, blah, blah. But from my experience here in Sweden, it's, uh, it's not too easy. So yeah, that's the mission of the day. So like the video, subscribe to the page and welcome to this channel again. And just let's keep on supporting the page, keep growing, keep glowing. Top of the morning, Kish Mawal. So let's go and look for our first strangers. I'm trying to find like the most, you know, happening place, the most busy, busy place where we can just randomly hijack strangers and just hear what they have to say. So let's go and see. This is Stockholm, Sweden. And uh, it's now actually not winter time because the winter is gone. But yeah, so I think I have come to the, one of the most busy parts over here. So uh -huh. there's somebody else doing some type of video here. So I, if you just want to see, it's like somebody who's like preaching and doing a live Instagram post. Yeah, something is definitely happening here. <laughs> Okay, now we are in the most busiest part. This is like the center of Stockholm. You know, central, central. So let's see what uh, people have to say about, <laughs> about this place. Interesting people, interesting people. Okay, let me hijack the first people and then I'll cut direct into them and see how it goes, all right. Okay, man, so I'm in the middle of Stockholm here and it's not really, you know, we're gonna just try and see and we can find out where we are about here and just find out where it is, this place. And like, excuse me, bro. What's up? You speak English? Yeah. Can I ask you some few questions? Yeah, you can. Yeah, it's for my YouTube channel. I hope it's okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Question. Yeah, I just, are you from Sweden? Yes. Okay, uh, I just want to know like what's the best thing about being Swedish or being in Sweden and everything and what's the worst thing about it according to your own opinion? There ain't much to speak about here. Yeah. Except uh, gossip. Gossip? When it even is that on the menu. There's a lot of gossip? No, I guess not. Yeah, or what did you say apart from... Uh, there's not much to speak about. So yeah. People uh, like to just be annoying and uh, yeah. interesting. Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh, it's uh, they like to be annoying. Now and then. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But I guess uh, it's nice when you uh, have. Um... Okay. And do you think it's easy to make friends here in Sweden in this society? Or it's a bit, people are a bit reserved. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, it depends. Yeah, on your interest or on what? 
it is a lot of uh, like uh, how can I explain? It is um, like you can have, uh, for instance, like circles where you study and stuff. Yeah. Like here in Sweden. Yeah. Very easily. Okay. And you can like, uh, if you have an interest, you can grow it. Okay. So because in studies, it's a very yeah. free country in some kinds of ways. Okay. But it is it is kind of limited. Yeah. In some certain ways. Okay. How how is it limited according to your opinion? Ah, thanks for your insight, man. Ah, oh, you are welcome. Yeah, appreciate. I hope you can make something out of it. Yeah, yeah, I can, I can. It's very good to have different insights. Yeah, thank you. Okay, okay, guys. So you can hear some of the insights. Really interesting. So we're gonna go and find some more things. Okay, bro. Yeah. Thank, thank you. Care. Peace, peace. All right. Be good to you. Okay, so uh, I really don't know if you guys are made heads or tails out of that because that guy seems to be in his own world. <laughs> but maybe we can talk to this other guy. Yeah. Hey bro, what's up? How are you? Are you from yeah. Sweden? Yeah. Yeah, can I ask you some questions? Yeah, sure. I'm just a bit, it's for my YouTube. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I just want to know a few a few details about Sweden, you know. I'm sorry? I just want to know some stuff about Sweden, oh, you know. Oh, yeah, sure. Like, you grew up, you've be, been born here and bred up. Yeah. Yeah. So what's the best thing about living here, you know? Uh, I don't know. I yeah. mean, uh, yeah. I like the, what we call Saigon. Oh, hey, bro. Hey. Yeah, I'm just doing a YouTube video, you know. No, I want to know some stuff about Sweden. Yeah. So you said you like... Uh, Saigon, which yeah. is like um, the sea, sort of, the, uh -huh. sea, to the, the shore, maybe. Okay. Say. Yeah. It's like small, like cluster of small islands. Yeah, exactly. At the, at the, like, the border. Ah, oh, like at the border? Yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. okay. How far is it from here? Uh, I don't know. With uh, public transport, maybe half uh, an hour and a half, maybe yeah. two hours. Yeah, maybe more like yeah, maybe two hours. Maybe two hours. Yeah. Okay. You, yeah, the stops next catch a linger. The stops is maybe the stops is like like the the taxi boats. Yeah. Okay. Maybe like three hours max. Ah, okay, and it's really nice there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It's yeah. Islands. Ah. Yeah, I think there's like. 400,000 islands or something? Yeah. Oh yeah, wow! Ah, okay. I need to check that out. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. And uh, what do you guys think about like the people here in Sweden? Are they like open people? Are they close people? Is it easy to make friends? <laughs> it, really, it, really, it really depends on who you're asking. Yeah. 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 In the in the like the north yeah. part of Sweden, uh, people tend to be more closed off. And, okay. Uh, they're more closed off there. Yeah. Uh, and and in the southern parts, I think they're more open. Ah. Yeah. So the higher you go, <laughs> the more closed <laughs> yeah, off they exactly, are. Yeah. And what about Stockholm area? Because they say it's very multicultural, you know, yeah, yeah, a lot yeah. of different. There's a lot of different people, but still, like if you if you meet a lot of Swedish Swedish people, uh, yeah. like people that are born in Stockholm, they tend to be like a like a bit like closed off and maybe yeah. like, uh, like ah. it doesn't like you don't go to Stockholm and say like hi to people on the street yeah 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 like, they, they will ignore you yeah exactly yeah <laughs> actually that's the experiment I'm doing today yeah. I want to go around and talk to Swedish people and see how many will say they can oh, really? talk to me how many they can you know they are called because <laughs> I've been, I've heard Sweden is very hard to you know because yeah. I travel like all around the world oh, really? yeah and I see like some countries people are very open yeah. but Sweden I know it's a bit you know we, yeah, uh, there's a lot of uh, Spanish people in Sweden. Yeah, they come summertime. Yeah, um, from Spain. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And they they are super loud and uh, yeah, <laughs> a, lot of, a lot of Sweden uh, citizens think they're kind of uh, like obnoxious. Yeah, okay. But I think they're kind of just like vibing. Open, yeah. yeah. Because even in the trains here, you know, when you're sitting in the trains, people are just so quiet, yeah. <laughs> sitting yeah, by yeah, themselves. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> But when they go to like other countries like Latin America, Mexico, yeah, anywhere, exactly. people are so out loud yeah, and yeah, open. Yeah. Uh -huh. So that's a cultural thing. Yeah, yeah I guess I, so. I think so. I think it's a bit like more of the the history of Sweden. Like yeah. Sweden has almost always been like a pretty rich and uh, well mannered yeah. country. Yeah, yeah, very polite people, yeah, polite well mannered. People. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I think like after some generations, like people still tend to yeah like get closed off and. Yeah. Just to live their own life. Like, okay. Get from yeah. yeah. All right. Nice. Okay. Anything you'd like to say that I uh, special about Sweden that we didn't know? Maybe. So, like, uh, you know, that factor that people are always like, wow. Mm. I don't know. 
I like meatballs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you do. Yeah, yeah, that's typical Swedish, you know. Uh, ah. The king of Sweden, who's man? Fyrade. Celebrated. Yeah, yeah. celebrated like, his uh, 50th. 50 year of uh, like uh, being king. Oh, okay, yeah. on the throne. Yeah, on the throne, exactly. Okay, so nice. I think he's uh, the oldest king on the throne in Europe. Ah, oh, the one right who's now. lived the longest time. No, no, uh, no, no, been no, 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 no. Been in the throne for the yeah, longest yeah, time. Ah, yeah. oh, okay. Except the queen. Yeah, yeah. yeah. She, died. <laughs> <laughs> she did. Okay, so if the king of Sweden is watching this man, big up yourself. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe he's gonna he's gonna watch this video. Yeah. And congratulations for your 50 years. Yeah. Oh, all right. One more thing. Yeah. If you're into like nicotine or tobacco, yeah. you should try Swedish snus. Yeah. It's the best. <laughs> it's the best. How does it make you feel? It, it's like it's like a longer cigarette. Ah, oh, like, okay. Makes you feel calm. Yeah, calm and relaxed, and like the the nicotine <laughs> feeling is like it keeps it helps like the effect longer. Ah. Than the cigarette. Okay. And okay. you can like, like it doesn't smell and it doesn't can, smell. Yeah. Ah, okay. This is it, Velo. <laughs> but this is uh, quite a strong one. Ah, you, okay. You can try to smell it. You can smell like the strength of it. Oh, it smells good, yeah. though. Yeah, it, <laughs> it smells, smells like minty, yeah, you know. Yeah, most people <laughs> think it smells really bad. Eh? Yeah. Ah, <laughs> like, oh, yeah. So okay. You just put it on the lip, but then it's like yeah. Just, uh, and maybe another question: How is dating here in Sweden? You know, is it easy? Can you just walk to a girl? And just start talking to her, or how do you guys? Oh, yeah. How do you meet a girl? Like, yeah. That also really depends, I think, on yeah. who you are talking to. Yeah, if, like everyone's different, but if yeah. you go to like a girl that's kind of open, like uh, yeah, if you go to a girl that's kind of open, she will talk to you, I think. Okay, yeah. But uh, some girls are kind of like, oh, I'm the best of the world. You don't ah, talk to me. yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, bitch, bitch. Especially like, oh. people from Stockholm. Yeah, exactly. Really? Ah, yeah. so they have this attitude, you know? Yeah, yeah. Oh. There's a, a stereotype about people from Stockholm. Yeah. They really like. Yeah. Yeah, better than everyone else. Ah, okay. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so how do they even get dates or something? Is do they like go on Tinder or do they like? Um, that's, a, that's a, I think the bar is for like old, older women or men. Yeah. I think. Okay. Like for us uh, kids, I think it's more like a a school thing. Yeah, yeah more in school. Okay. Yeah, school and then yeah. parties and yeah. then you get, uh, Wider okay. Community yeah, but mostly in the streets is a bit difficult, you yeah. know. Yeah. Uh. I mean, people tend to be like, if you ask them, they answer your question, or if yeah. you even have a question. But mostly they will just after you're done. Like, oh, so yeah. if you ask like for a girl after like an interview, like for her number, probably she won't give you. She'll yeah, be like, no. I mean, she would ask you a question uh, if you had like, oh, where, where is the closest supermarket? Or something. Yeah, yeah. So she'll ask you really nice, probably. Oh, but okay. After that, she's just like, yeah. I never met you again. <laughs> But and is that if you ask for a number, yeah. it's gonna be like, who are you? Why are you asking? Yeah. <laughs> and wait, does this happen to only like guys who come from like who are tourists or even the local Swedish? If Everybody, a Swedish person everyone, asks a Swedish yeah. person, like, they'll be the same. You know, like the, uh, if you have like the super wrist, then maybe you can get a number. Oh, ah, okay. <laughs> if you're lucky. Yeah, you're kind of lucky, but nice. It doesn't happen to everyone. Okay. Yeah. So I'm gonna try my luck. You know, I'm gonna try and see <laughs> yeah, some th it, something yeah. is gonna give. Yeah. Oh, where, where are you from? Kenya. Kenya. Yeah. Oh, nice. Do you have a YouTube channel? Yeah, yeah. yeah I have yeah, a YouTube yeah, channel. I have to yeah. subscribe. Man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do you, you have to send it to me? Yeah. It's my name is Kish, so it's called Kish My World. Kish My World. Kish My World. Yeah. <laughs> yeah nice. Yeah. How many countries have you been to? Uh, 28 now. 28? Oh, yeah. That's a lot. Yeah. <laughs> you know, have you been to uh, Norway? In... Yes. Yeah. I have been to Norway. Did you go to Lofoten? Uh, no. Yeah, no. I was there uh, um, this summer. Yeah. And it's a really beautiful country. Oh. Uh, place because, like, yeah, Norway is very beautiful. Yeah, and, and Lofoten is special because um, it's a bunch of islands, but all the islands are like really tall mountains. Oh. So you look out upon the sea. And there's just a lot of mountains there. Yeah. It looks yeah. really like you. Nice. Yeah. Definitely. I'm gonna check it out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright guys, good yeah, to see you. Yeah, Alright, have a good one. Yeah, you too. Okay. Okay guys, so you heard yourself from the horse's mouth, it's not an easy country. But so far so good. I've talked to three guys and the guys seem to be positive. So maybe we should go and try and see if we can get some interviews with some girls also. Because I don't know, maybe it's a guy thing. Because so far, those are the first two people I've approached and none of them have had any problem, you know. And uh, one of them was like kind of a foreigner. And the other one is, uh, the other two actually are like from here. But they were all guys. So I think it's time to go and see if we can see if also females are as open and as friendly. 
all right this is sweet and stuff from you know you heard from the people themselves that it's not an easy thing and it's true man i have experience from that so ah let's keep exploring and see definitely coming across a bunch of hey can i ask you guys a question huh? i can ask you guys a question real quick on my youtube channel no, no, no. yeah <laughs> Okay, yeah, so you see what I meant? This is the girls. They're very very shy whenever it comes to it They just I think I think it's a girls thing especially, you know, but anyway I'm gonna look for some more and see there's probably some girls who are more open to that but uh, Guys already have been I've had more success right talking to random guys than uh, talking to random girls All right, let's go and look for some more as soon as we learn some we see how it goes, but also it has to be <laughs> you okay? <laughs> <laughs> also it has to do with the fact that people are oh it's a bit dark in here i hope you guys can be able to see me i think also it has to be with the fact that people here are also a bit shy shy to like talk to strangers or maybe shy to talk to cameras and stuff and uh, i mean if it comes to that maybe we can understand them but let's keep going and looking and seeing who is brave enough kish my world you know? Yeah, so yeah. we're here like uh, defending animals basically. Ah, uh -huh, so it's like uh, a protest for defending animals. Yeah, so we're showing like all different industries uh, from the food industry to okay. the car industry. Okay, so it's basically about how animals are mistreated, how uh, they are yeah, they're being course. used. I mean, yeah, exactly. You, you said the right word, they're used. Yeah. So it's, not, it's not just about cruelty. Of course, there's lots of cruelty on display here. Yeah. But basically, veganism is the principle that um, it's not just about you know doing acts of cruelty or harm. It's yeah. also the idea that we shouldn't use another individual when we don't need to. Uh -huh. Because when we use another individual, that's exploitation. Yeah, true. So, so we're trying to shift away from that. And okay, I because really we don't need to eat animals to live. We, we, can, we can survive on plants. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah. And we also, I think there's a lot of misunderstanding as well about the dairy industry, yeah. and the egg industry. A lot of people think that they're harmless. Yeah. But in fact, um, for example, in Sweden, all the males are killed at a uh -huh. day old because, in the egg industry, for example, because yeah. they're not going to grow up to lay eggs because okay. only the females lay yeah. eggs. Um, and so there's no demand for the for the egg laying breeds. Yeah. But a male, there's no demand. Yeah. Um, and they're the wrong breed to raise for meat. So we kill around 7 billion globally wow, of the male chicks lot. every year yeah. um, on their first day of life just because they're the wrong breed. Yeah. Um, so it, the whole industry is, is just built on this idea that they're like commodities. Okay. Um, treating yeah. them as objects. Instead of treating them like life. Yeah, like individuals. Yeah. You know, we are animals as well. Yeah, right? we are. We are. Yeah. So if, 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 if I'm in a room with a pig and a chicken, yeah. Um, me and the pig actually closer biologically yeah. speaking because we're both mammals yeah. than the pig is to the chicken. Yeah. So we have this idea that you know we have humans up here and all the other animals down there. Yeah. Maybe dogs maybe a little bit higher. Yeah, and but, cats. And yeah, yeah, exactly. Which, yeah. which it's all nonsense, right? We're challenging yeah. that idea. I mean, uh -huh. It's uh, basically it's called speciesism. Okay. Speciesism. Yeah, yeah okay. where you basically okay. like people will, you know, they'd be upset if you left a dog in a hot car. Yeah. But then they go home and they eat bacon that yeah. came from a pig in a gas chamber. Exactly, so it's like what, double standards. Yeah, so what is it about the dog that means they're so valuable and they, they matter, wow. but you don't care about the pig? Yeah, it, that's really nice. It's just uh, the way yeah. we're brought up. And I saw in that screen they also say like cows are forcefully impregnated. Yeah, so the dairy industry... To produce uh, milk. I mean, a lot of people don't understand, but in the dairy industry, you know, they're producing breast milk, right? Yeah. So, like, just like humans, they're not, like, constantly, you know, women are not constantly producing breast milk because yeah. they have a baby. Yeah. So the same in the dairy industry, they have to get them pregnant. Mm -hmm. So what they do is they masturbate the bulls to collect the semen. Yeah. And then they fr freeze the semen, and then they restrain the female. Uh, they have a gloved arm that they force into her anus. Uh -huh. and they grip the cervix from the inside, and then with the other hand, they use what's called an AI gun, artificial insemination. Wow. And, they inject, and then they shoot in the semen. Injects in the semen. But then as soon as her calf is born, they will take that calf away from her. Uh -huh. Because we're just doing it because we want them to get pregnant, so they make the milk. Yeah. Um, okay. And then the males will be killed because then, again they're not useful. Only the females produce milk, breast milk. Wow, it's um, a bit cruel. Uh, yeah, yeah. A bit, yeah. It's yeah, very, it's uh, very, very cruel. All yeah. right, this is a good job you guys are doing. All right. Yeah, big up. What's it, what's it, do you have the the name of the? Yeah, I can give you a card or something. Okay.
So that was a very good uh, explanation of what's happening here. And yeah, that's why I'm vegetarian, you know? This yeah. is it. Okay, I'm actually vegetarian myself, so yeah, it's, it's so actually good yeah, to see this. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. It's, it's good to, to think about like beyond just meat, because yeah. I think there's a lot of misunderstanding about dairy and eggs. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. So and also clothing. Yeah, yeah, so it's, yeah, just, far it's, clothing, it's everything. rejecting that, that yeah. idea that another individual is there for us. Yeah. They're here with us, right? Not okay. for us. All right, that's the beauty right. of a country yeah. like Sweden, you know? Thanks a lot. <laughs> All right, yeah, thank you. All right. Wow, that was nice, you know? Yeah, thank you, bro. That was nice, uh, randomly walking here, and then you know, there's like this protest. It actually, you know, they parted from the main point of today's video. So I know there's a lot of guys here. What's <laughs> up, bro? What's How up? are you? You're not uh, camera shy, yeah? Uh, uh, what's your bro, name? Nikolai. Uh, Nikolai. Nikola. Uh, uh, on, on, on my yeah, I'm doing a YouTube vlog here, you know? Uh, <laughs> Say hi, man. Hi. Who are you guys from? Sweden? Uh, no, no, Ukraine. Ukraine? Uh, ah, okay. Uh, All of you? Uh, no, po Poland. Poland, Ukraine, uh, but you speak the same language or? Yeah, uh, Polish or Ukrainian. Ah, okay. Nice. <laughs> How long yeah. have you been in Sweden for? Uh, at all. Ah, okay, nice. And you speak some Swedish? Little. Yeah, okay. How, how is it in Ukraine now? It's still chaos? Yeah. Uh, so that's why you guys run away, because of the war? Okay. And is it nice in Sweden? People treat you okay? You're welcome? Okay, yeah, it's a nice country. All right, man, good to meet you guys. I like your swag. <laughs> Looking good. <laughs> Okay, so the guys who actually had to stop hi, us. What's up, man? Say hi. I'm doing a YouTube video here, you know? Hello. Hi. Say hi. <laughs> Say YouTube. I'm Subscribe. YouTube. <laughs> Ukraine? From Ukraine also? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, good to see you guys. Wow. So you can see the difference actually is these people are from Ukraine. You know, they were kids, so I didn't really want to ask them too much info about it. But yeah, it's a sensitive topic. But man, I feel like I've already done enough. So in this video, I was just looking randomly and we've actually managed to see the vegetarian, vegan movement. We've actually managed to, manage to talk to some people from uh, mostly guys. And uh, the ladies, of course, they were too shy, as those guys said. But yeah, it is what it is. So now it's time to end this video here. And uh, thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Top of the morning, Kishma World. I'm going to go and just uh, explore some more, have some food, and see you guys in the next one. And if you come to Sweden, don't be afraid to talk to people. Some of them are friendly, some of them will outright ignore you. Top of the morning, Kishma World. Let's do this.